Insurgency has been around on the PC platform for some time now, with the original mod launching in 2007 off the back of Half-Life. And some of the guys who made that mod originally came from the team who brought us the Red Orchestra mod from Unreal Tournament 2004. Currently, the game exists as a standalone title built on the Source engine and was released in January 2014 for the PC. The game focuses heavily on a hardcore combat system, with gunfights ending in brutal deaths in just a couple of bullets. This has attracted a rather big audience to the game, with many shooters not actually offering this model of combat as their main focus. They've carved out a niche within the first-person shooter community. The developers appear keen to build on this success of the current game and have announced Insurgency Sandstorm, a complete redesign of the current game, incorporating new features, a new graphical engine, esports support, and versions of the game coming to new platforms. This is something I'm personally really happy to see come from the developers. Not only is the game very successful on PC, but they're now offering a completely new set of gamers the chance to play Insurgency. The more the merrier. Sandstorm is being powered by the Unreal 4 engine, marking a big change in direction for the brand. Both the original mod and the current Insurgency game have been developed on Valve's Source engine, which while being a great engine that performs well on most PCs out there, wasn't particularly great in terms of eye candy. Unreal Engine, as it says in the name, can produce some truly unreal visuals, which will likely please fans of the series. The game did need some graphical love. As I mentioned previously, the game will incorporate a lot of new features, many of which will bring it up to par with what a lot of other shooters include nowadays. If you're going to push the game out to consoles, you need to include different things to appeal to a different kind of market. The game is being completely redesigned from the ground up, with competitive multiplayer, console split screen, and a single player campaign in mind. The multiplayer aspect will include full esports framework, bringing a lot more structure to the community. This will likely also help the Insurgency brand when it comes to competitive gaming. Esports is bigger than ever, and Insurgency offering that much more hardcore combat, it does bring something new to the table. A beta testing form of this esports matchmaking system will be deployed into the current PC version of the game in the coming months, and this is to help test the system and make sure it's ready for its deployment when Sandstorm releases. This again is something I'm really happy to see the developers do. We can get a real feel for where they think competitive play should sit within the Insurgency brand. The single player campaign will focus on a squad of characters as they face increasingly challenging chapters, from the invasion of Iraq in 2003 leading all the way through to the present day. As I mentioned earlier on, Insurgency Sandstorm is also being built to include new platforms into the franchise, with the game coming to consoles, the PS4 and the Xbox One, Mac OS and Linux for the first time. The whole idea of Sandstorm was to redesign the core Insurgency game so these platforms could be included and bring the game to new audiences. This is something I think a lot of gamers will be happy to hear. I've had countless comments on my Insurgency live commentary series asking if this game is available for the consoles. Well, it's currently in development. One sad part to this announcement though is that currently we have no official release date and it's unlikely to be released anytime soon. The game is being redesigned from the ground up as I mentioned on a completely new graphical engine and being made for several new platforms. So unfortunately the tentative release date given by the developers so far is 2017. However, I'm sure the more we see on the development of the game, the closer we'll come to hearing a more solid release date in the future. That's all we have on Insurgency Sandstorm so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know some of your thoughts down below. Perhaps you're a console gamer. Let me know what you think about the game making the jump across. And while you're down there, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.